Hi guys and welcome to my final reveal for the ICM 148th scale RAF pilots and ground personnel kit covering the 1939 to 1945 World War II period. That's the box. It's a 2006 release, new box of an older kit. I don't know the date of when it was actually released, when it was new tooling. But what do I think of it? I think it's fabulous. It's a great kit, cost me $10.19 from scaleobvious.com. And for that price, I think you get uh, a good deal. There are seven figures in the kit. One of those kits, uh, one of those figures is a female officer. You've got one, two, three ground crew personnel figures. You've got three pilots. Uh, one of those pilots is dressed in his all leather, furry lined flying suit with his mask and helmet in a climbing into the cockpit pose. Uh, you've got another pilot wearing his yellow May West and he's gesticulating. Looks like he's talking about a maneuver that he did when he was in a um, dogfight. And then um, you've got another pilot just nonchalantly walking with his brown leather jacket over his shoulder. Great posed figures and uh, nicely detailed for the size they are for 148 scale. So I really love them. And uh, But at my age, a real strain on the eyes. A lot of people asking me how I did the details on from the ones I've posted on Facebook and I wear these. Optivisors, they go up to eight times magnification and there are LED lights on the front to illuminate what you're seeing. And it's still a strain with me using those. What else comes with a kit? You've got a dog that looks like a red setter. You've got two uh, tanks that look like they could be oxycetylene tanks or air cylinders. And they're on a cart, a two-wheeled barrow. You've got a table, a workbench with a vise on it that's got a strip of uh, cartridges. Uh, 303 cartridges laid out and you've got a, um, a trestle trestle yeah got a trestle with the screw jacks on it so you can wind them up and raise the top bar and then you've got two jerry cans one of the jerry cans is being carried by one of the ground personnel um, so overall I think it's great value for money, $10.19 for what you get in the kit and they're really nicely detailed, there was zero flash and uh, obviously you have to clean up the part lines so just use the tip of a scalpel blade and carefully take away the parting lines so you have no line going around the edge of it, of each figure, remove them and it, they look great. So that's it, value for money guys, highly recommended. Much better than the Eddard kit that I've just started on. Uh, in comparison, it's like chalk and cheese. You know, totally two ends of the spectrum. Uh, so I'd highly recommend these if you want 148 scale figures, uh, RAF figures, ground crew and pilots. This one, don't waste your money on the Eddard kit. It's uh, really poorly moulded, poorly detailed. Lots of gaps when you assemble the parts that have to be filled. So that's it. I'm not going to waffle on, guys. So enjoy the slideshow. Thanks for following so far, guys, with this diorama. Really appreciate it. Thanks for all the comments. Happy modeling. Talio. Chocks away. Hi, guys. So to start with, I took parts from the sprues. That's all the parts for the table and the vise. And then all the parts were cleaned up. That's a couple of the figures with the dog and the jerry cans. Two more figures and the parts for the ladder assembly. There are all the parts for the trestle, it's very flimsy. Uh, and one more figure there. That's the parts for the cylinders and the cart that carries them, that they sit on. A couple more figures there. And there are all the equipments assembled there in the table, ladder, trestle. That's a close-up of the table. There's the jerry cans on cocktail sticks, prepared, ready to prime. 
And as you can see, that trestle, it's like all wonky. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to use that. And there's a couple of pilot figures all assembled. There's just very fine gaps that need filling. That's a rear view of those two figures. That's the ground personnel guy on the left, female officer on the right. That's the rear view. You can see he's got a little gap around his bottom area. Crouching uh, officer and the flying pilot officer in his uniform, flying uniform. Pilot all ready to climb into the cockpit. Another ground personnel with his dog. It's the rear view, just tiny gaps here and there to fill. And there they all are, everything ready there now for some filler and preparation for painting. There you can see the filler applied at the areas where there was some gaps on the ladder there and the flying jacket of one of the officers. And for comparison here we've got the Eddard figure on the right and you can see it's a lot bigger in every direction and the detail is just not as nicely pronounced and clear as the ICM parts. So after the filler had set I cleaned it all off with isopropyl alcohol, cleaned all the parts down and there they are, ready for primer. There we have the black Steinal res primer applied. And then I moved on to doing the base coats. That's the uniform blue-gray. And the flying officer with his leather brown. And then the equipment was given the base colours. And then started to detail paint. When that was all done... I sealed everything in with a gloss clear coat and I did a semi gloss on the dog. Then mixed an oil uh, wash, black oil wash, when those clear coats had dried. Applied that over all the equipment and the dog. And there you can see the table with the black wash on there. Dirty in that table. And there you can see it wet on the dog, getting into all those creases. Then applied it to the ladder. And when everything was dry and all the excess rubbed off, I then cleared everything, uh, gave everything a final matte varnish. I then used a mix of rust paint with some black and brown detail wash, created a color that I used as a wash onto everything just to give some tonal variation. And then after that, using a Vallejo Splash Mud, I applied some of that around the rungs of the ladder, around the bottom of the legs, etc. And that made everything complete. So we're going to move on to the final reveal, guys. And in the final reveal, you'll see some shots that show my fingers and thumbs to give you an idea of scale. So I hope you enjoy, guys. Talio, chocks away.
Yeah.